Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing well. So today I come again with a new topic in success factor as usual. Uh, hope all of you have uh, already seen my previous uploaded videos. I already received a lot of feedbacks from you on my previous uploaded videos and many thanks for your all positive feedbacks on my uploaded videos and hope uh, those videos will are helpful for you uh, for your project work or for uh, enrichment of your knowledge uh, in regards of success factors field so those videos are helpful for you that is uh, my intention of publishing this channel or uh, means explaining these different topics in success factors so as you already seen from the thumbnail our today today's topic is how to pass dynamic value in messages but before proceeding to this video uh, please pause the video for a while and hit the left uh, red subscribe button uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and also feel free to post your comments and you can share your topics as well uh, on which I can build uh, prepare new videos uh, many of you already uh, emailed me uh, different topics um, so please keep patience uh, I'm just telling those persons who already send me different topics please keep patience so I uh, definitely I'll prepare the videos on those topics one by one and uh, just keep watching this channel so that uh, you can see your topics coming in this uh, YouTube channel as well so uh, no more uh, no more talking anymore so let's come uh, just focus to, on today's topic now so what do we mean by how uh, dynamic value in messages first we need to understand this so in success factor as we know we can uh, populate the message in three ways one is info type messages second is warning messages and third is uh, error type messages but suppose we have some requirement that we need to pass uh, some fields value or field name dynamically based on the selection of that field so how to do that we'll check it out today to do that uh, we are going to use uh, one tool called message parameters so these tool particularly are going to use in our message definition and today I'll demonstrate how to use this tool and how to pass the dynamic values in message definition uh, when we are going to populate any message via business tools so next next is how to configure this that means the configuration steps the first thing that we need to create that is the message text or message definition so uh, we, as you know in success factor we can create the message text in a message definition tool uh, if you are not aware of that definitely just uh, I'll show that just keep watching this video I'll show each and every step in details second step is capture the stakes uh, in curly brackets where dynamic value need to be passed third step is create message parameters with those stakes which are captured in curly braces and define relevant data types for those parameters and fourth and final step is assign that message definition to business tool because obviously we need some business tool to trigger those messages and then map the message parameters to relevant fields of the base object or other relevant object in that business tool so these are the configuration steps now let's log into the instance and check out how we can utilize this so I have logged into the instance right now first pick up one example so that we can understand this topic uh, very well and we know what is the importance or utilization of this dynamic value person in message parameters so, so I pick up one example here uh, for an, uh, that is suppose uh, for this employee when we are going to the compensation information portlet so this is the compensation information portlet so here you can see in compensation part uh, there are a couple of pay components are already assigned now suppose uh, we are going to our requirement is whatever the frequency is maintained for these pay components if user are going to maintain forcefully some different frequency which is not assigned to the pay component then one error message should populate okay now 
the issue is suppose the error message is populating on save rule means when data is going to be saved then only the error message is going to be populated that is the requirement but the issue is in comp info port in compensation portlet we can see multiple pay components are assigned so the end user will be confused for which uh, invalid frequency or, or for which pay components where the frequency is not correct this error message is generating so that we from that error, generic error message end user might not able to identify for which pay component the frequency is not correct okay so first uh, let's build up one generic message then we uh, we are going to do our next step that means we'll pass the dynamic value to make the user uh, identify more clearly for which particular pay components frequency is not correct okay so let's build the frequency error uh, rule first to build the rule we need to go to configure business rules so click the add icon so that we can create a new rule here I'm selecting the uh, base, uh, basic business tool here and putting the name as frequency error that is the name of the business tool base object I'm selecting compensation let's continue now now in if condition I'm setting if the frequency of the, uh, that assigned pay component is not equals to it's not equals to the frequency of the of that pay component that means in every pay component as we know there are in, in pay component master data there are some frequency we can maintain so our requirement is if that uh, frequency which is already maintained in that pay components master data is not equals to to the frequency that end user is going to assign for that particular pay component to some employee then our error message should trigger okay so this is the condition I have set now in then part we need to set some business uh, uh, message type here so to raise the message we need to set this uh, condition uh, set this comment as raise message and in the message part we need to create some message definition we need to assign that message definition here so let's create one message definition first So a new window parallelly and here let's go to manage data create message definition I'm putting on generic message uh, frequency is not correct so this mass generic message i am just setting here putting the external name as frequency error that is the external code and name of the message and we are not passing any parameter at this moment and let's save this message first frequency error and now the, we need to pass this message definition in our business rule frequency error and the severity we are going to set as error type let's save this message now so this is a generic message we have saved here no dynamic value is passed at this moment so now next step is we need to assign this business tool to comp uh, compensation portlet so let's go to our compensation portlet opening a new window go to manage 
business configuration go to paycom recurring portlet that is the compensation portlet basically the label name is compensation and in compensation portlet choose the event type as on save and assign our error message frequency error message let's save it now data is saved now let's go to one employee so that we can paste our message here so let's go to mark okay one employee now let's go to the compensation portlet Compensation information within compensation information. This is the portlet called compensation. Now, if we want to suppose we are going to edit the data, compensation data. So here in uh, in for this employee, we can see four pay components are assigned at this moment. So first key pay component is basic AU, basic salary Australia for that frequency maintained as monthly. Second pay component is meal AU for that frequency maintained as monthly as well. Third pay component is assigned EE Health Plan Australia for that frequency is maintained is bi monthly. And fourth pay component is Child Care Australia and for that also frequency maintained as monthly. Now, now the thing is, let me open a new window. For the third pay component that is EE Health Plan Australia, let's check what is the frequency maintained in the master data that means in pay component level let's go to manage org pay component so here you can see the frequency maintained is monthly but at the user level data is migrated or data is assigned before assigning the error message that is bi-monthly so as per our business rule one error message should be triggered for this pay component assignment let's check it so i'm trying to change uh, the data of this or you can change any of this data uh, and try to save save it i'm trying to save it you can see one generic error message is populating here frequency is not correct but the thing is now from end user perspective if you think end user should not have this pay component uh, access that means they should not have any uh, master data view access the end users so in that case how the end user will identify for which pay component this error message is generating because right now for this employee there are four pay components are assigned but if we um, uh, trigger one generic message like this frequency is not correct then your end user might be confused for which pay component the frequency is not correct correctly maintained in this uh, employee so to make um, end user uh, more uh, or uh, to clarify this confusion we need to pass the dynamic value of the pay component for which the pay uh, frequency is not correct in that case the end user will be easily understand which pay component's frequency is not correct so let's pass the message let's customize our uh, message definition now so here i'm changing the text first that uh, frequency uh, that is frequency one one value i paused frequency is not correct of
copy comp correct frequency should be another frequency value I have paused so basically what message I am re uh, written here so let me just in one notepad so this is the error message I have written here so within curly brackets I have passed few values here within based on these values only if we map it correctly we can pass the dynamic values from our business rule okay now it's time to define these uh, text which are captured within curly braces in our message parameters so all of these parameters I am defining uh, uh, defining the data type as string first frequency I have first external code frequency uh, freq1 name also freq1 second value is freq comp for this as well the data type I am maintaining a uh, string external code freq comp name freq comp and third value is freq2 2. Let's save this. Now let's come to our business rule and refresh our message definition here. So when you refresh whatever the message parameters we have passed, we can see those are coming here. Now we need to map the relevant fields to this message parameter to pass the dynamic value so first frequency is that is the uh, current uh, currently assigned incorrect frequency so that should be the frequency name which is currently assigned to the comp info portlet for which pay component which is currently uh, user choosing or what whatever the current uh, pay component where the frequency is assigned wrongly so for that pay components pay component id i have assigned and sec uh, second track to this variable should map to the correct frequency which should be in place there to rectify that so that should be the uh, frequency which is assigned to the pay component master data level so that means it should be this frequency now let's save it so it's time to testing right now so I'm canceling this and again try to edit it so in app employee level again I'm trying to edit the data suppose 513 I have edited the data now I'm saving so here you can see now the message uh, message text is customized and it is pretty clear it is saying that frequency by monthly is not correct of a component e underscore HV underscore AU correct frequency should be monthly so any end user can understand that and they can go and change this frequency for this pay component to monthly And then they can save and correct the data. So hope you can understand uh, and uh, how we can pause the dynamic values and what is the utilization of dynamic values in message definition and how we can utilize the message parameters tool. So hope you hope a uh, new thing you have learned today or somebody who, who are already working on this they can just revise their knowledge by seeing this video. So keep watching and happy learning. Thank you.